I got so it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna at least put a stack of berries down. Not everybody's probably gonna be that hungry. Where's, uh, there he is. There he is. Yeah, good thing he's in the corner, dude. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but I think the, uh, cro the croc bar came out of the lake spawn, so. We need to do that farm on the lake ASAP to start securing that area. I know it's begun, but we can start making a fence for it to make it a barren land with those spawns. On my way back with the cooked prime meat. Nice. Why do we have a bunch of these? In the box, what is this? Uh... You know what would be really funny? If for some random reason a megalodon spawned in our little lake. We tame it, bro. Tame it, set it to aggressive. Exactly, that would be super Anybody badass. who goes in it, anyone who goes in the lake gets killed by it. Exactly. Who do I give the cooked prime meat to? The Rex or the bird? The Rex. I got 200 narcotics on me, so we're good with that. Here's some narcotics. Stone's pretty cool. So badass, dude. It looks like a real fortress entrance. Wait till it's metal. Oh shit, it's gonna look so greasy. Give the Rex a whole bunch of narcotics. Okay, each one does 40 torpor. Make sure you don't give him too many. Giving him too many. Uh, um, how many did you give him? Quite a bit. That's quite a bit. Twenty. Oh God, you fool! Hey, he'll be fine. Oh my goodness. He'll sleep it off. He will sleep it off, but you did overshoot it. I just saw it. Hit. 
It's okay, it's okay though. The good thing is, now know each one does 40 torpor. And on uh, most berry launchers, they actually do 35 torpor. At least that's what I've noticed. This tag was one of those. Can someone get me some more stem berries? Stem berries, where are you? On the, uh, on the, uh, what do you call it? Fucking stego. Yeah. Staring into its eye, it knows who's boss. <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny, bro. <coughs> Did I say you could blink? If we weren't taming it, I'd hit it. Yeah, if you hit it, though, we'd all trip out on you. Bird's got 2400 food, is that bad? That's okay. Do you need more food? It has three bonus damage points, that's lovely. It has basically very minimum health, that's unfortunate. It has like medium stamina, medium oxygen, low food, that's a very good bird, man. It's got very low weight though, that's unfortunate. We can always give it a couple of those big level up quick anyway. A damn good bird, level 16. It got its power in killing. This could be a war bird. This just needs a lot of added health, and this could be a war bird quickly. We should name it Alexander. That sounds like a brilliant name. I'm down with that. What's going on, everybody? Hey, hey sir. There's a person on a raptor. Oh, okay, never mind. One of us. One of us. One of us. How you been, sir? Boo boo goggle. I'm alright. I keep bugging out like every time I get in. I log out in houses and I end up dead. Uh, there was uh, a merger with Zero Cool. They made me a leader. And then oh, yeah? the next day, uh, the servers were wiped and everybody lost everything except levels. Yeah, no. I I'm back in since then. So... But it, like, are you in the tribe? I think so. At okay, least I was the other day. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Because, like, a lot of people have been, like, been, like kicked out because we had a glitch too for the house. The house was half owned by Big Nick and we had to, like, throw it all away. So they, they can oh, maintain wow. a separate tribe for now. Still best friends, making babies every day. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're just out hunting right now by the river entrance. Yeah, I'm trying to get on. Okay. Has anybody seen George around? I haven't seen yeah. him since they wiped. Yeah, I've seen him a couple of times, but he only like logs in for like a, a few hours. Um, uh -huh. Because he's studying right now, so he has exams and tests and shit. Yeah, that's what I've been doing too. <laughs> yeah, dude. Test the season for that guy shit. I'm probably gonna go back in like September or January. I'm gonna finish computer programming, even though I've studied like everything on the planet. You don't even know where to begin. 
I want to know programming. I want to make my own badass game. These guys, they made this game in six months pretty much. It's like a six, seven month old game right now. Like, can you imagine uh. how quickly we can get something like amazing off the ground with that much like pre-programmed shit available? Yeah, that'd be cool. You should make a Bionicle game. That's fun. I already have a plan for a game. I've actually uh, had the, the outline all mapped up for it already on paper for like nine, ten years now. But it's like so many things that are not in other games are in it. But the thing is, games like this one have started to implement that stuff. Like not having quests, you gotta create your own missions. That's like a part of one of the games that I've been like thinking of for like so many years that I know I really want to make. Have you played Face of Mankind when it first came out? Face of Mankind. I guess that's a no. Nope. No, but this game will be like a, like a bird's eye view, similar to, to Diablo 2 kind of thing, but way better. That's fairly ambitious. Yeah, absolutely. How much, uh, monetization are you going to be doing? Man, do you mean what's my budget? <laughs> no, 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 how much are you going to screw people over for money? Oh! You know, That's I'll probably... That's basically monetization. I think you mean monetization, but anyway. <laughs> I hate you so much. I love you, but let's make a baby. <laughs> I'm thinking of just having it be like something like 30 bucks and you don't gotta pay a monthly fee. It's like far from complete though man. It's like it's got a lot ready for it, but I need I need a lot of higher level programming unless I wanna pay a lot more people and like risk the knowledge being shared with other game companies. Figured out what we should name the T-Rex. Sounds like a good thing to know. What is it? Gecko. Gecko. You know, he kind of does look like one. He's very green. He's very green. He's, he's got the military mix. He could be we a military mix. We could call him G.I. Joe. G.I. No, wait. No, wait, wait. G.I. the chameleon? Boom. Ooh, that might be fun. <laughs> G.I. the chameleon. This is a class one. This is a B class. Alright. Caldwin, did you get your mic yet? Oh snap, Caldwin's here, boys. Damn it, Caldwin. The mic is still silent. It's gonna be our Friday, so... Yeah, he, he told me that the other day, call. actually. It's okay, a couple it's more days. taking so long. <laughs> it's okay, dude. Like, it's it's not like he's gonna miss something by not talking. We're just gonna miss his sexy voice for a couple more days. We can make it. We can make it. This bird's taking forever. Oh, that's normal. It's an Argentinus. Hey, team. That's, for a like, that's long not time. bad for overnight. Usually overnight's like 50. Dude, I get overnight for free. We live in Canada where like everybody's just happy to deliver. Canadians are like the best consumers on the planet. I don't know. What if this T-Rex eats this prime raw meat before it spoils? Oh, look, They're look, look at that.